I mean, IFRA is by, by its nature a research organization. The R and A stands for Research Association inside IFRA. So we have published until today roughly 180 uh, so-called special reports dealing with, with all areas of, of news publishing. Uh, in the beginning it was focusing more on the, on the print side because there was no internet or things like that. Uh, but we started also very early to, to do something about the internet uh, or the predecessor like BTX, BTX and so on and so on. And today it's uh, that we focus on the entire process from, from content gathering to distribution, including the editorial side, as far as, as uh, business and technology is concerned. So that's, we, we recently we, we started with this, uh, with this project about where news or where does the news publishing business go. That's the long version. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and, and this really looks into the future of this, of this business based on, as I said in the presentation, based on development of technology, development of demographics and socioeconomics, and also the development of media channels. And we will now just we are just now in the process of, of publishing uh, a report on the uh, on all the scenarios that we developed. So the one that I introduced was just one of a bundle of, the, of, of those. Uh, and uh, a new thing about the future of printing, and brand new something about the future of the advertising markets. So how will advertising work in the future? Yeah. Um, how receptive do you think um, most traditional um, media companies are to embrace this um, scenario approach? Uh, not very receptive. No. Not very receptive. Unfortunately, I have to say unfortunately not very receptive because it's a very powerful tool. But, I mean, you, you heard the presentation. Of course, of course, it's a little bit... It is the, the, the future. Mm -hmm. Certain things you cannot avoid. Uh, it's now about the newspapers to really react to that. And the first thing to react to it, the first thing that they need to do to build a strategy around it is to have a scenario that they believe in. So that's why, why the scenario development is so, is so powerful and so important for them. Okay. And how do you, um, how would you advise, I guess, um, really print-based uh, media outlets as far as new media and video in particular, of course, on the web? To be, how would you advise them to be thinking about that? Oh, I... I said as well as I said in the, in the presentation, you have to think about not what you can offer. Think about where you can reach your customer. If you can reach him 7 o'clock in the morning on, on radio or with a podcast or a little bit later on the internet, uh, follow him throughout the day. And when he is in, 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 in TV in the evening and you have TV, wonderful. Otherwise, you can probably provide something to TV. So it's, it's, about, it's not about what can I offer. It's about what do my customer want. And this under the umbrella of the one, of the one brand. And I think that's, that's the key of it. So if you are print-centric today, no problem. But please, go ahead and, and, and struggle with the, with, the, with the other platforms. Make sure that this uh, MMM, as uh, being uh, multi-platform, multi-channel, multimedia, that this is actually reality, or that to make that a reality. Do you think that um, where does video having that and being multi-platform fit into um, being profitable? Also, how do you think um, you see business models going as far as? You know, I don't. I don't think that it makes sense to have separate business models for the various platforms that you that you offer. I think it has to be uh, a model that. Um, how to say that? Um, where, where okay, one medium probably supports the others, but in the end, you own the customer, and that's the important thing that you own the customer because then you are attractive to the advertisers. And I said earlier in my in my speech also, I talk about the advertisers, not necessarily about the agencies, because I think if you can prove in front of the advertisers that you get the eyeballs seven twenty four seven. What, on whatever platform you use, they will add, place your ads with you. Um, how do you think um, traditional companies, especially right now, it seems like more are laying off than hiring, more are cutting back more than, rather than adding training, how do they get their staff um, to be doing this? Um, 
number one, I think it, more and more companies actually realize how important training is. We had just heard the, the example from the Telegraph. Uh, our organization gave a lot of training to the Telegraph media on all sorts of multimedia storytelling. Um, and it's, as I said, it's, it's really an increasing demand in, 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 the, in the newspaper world. So I don't think that, that they are actually neglecting the need for training. It's, it's also, uh, the first thing that you need to have is a, a vision, a mission, and a strategy, and then execute it. You have to initiate a process of change inside the company. And in this process of change, you have to communicate with your people, you have to train your people, you have to make sure that they feel comfortable in their new roles. And that has to be a complete package, so it's not only, well, we give them a little bit of training, it's a little bit more. Are there any outlets that you think are doing a really good job that maybe smaller or regional publications could look to for ideas? And oh, we have we have uh, actually a number. One certainly is, is my opinion at least the the Telegraph Media Group or the Daily Telegraph in the UK. We have another one which is No Use Media in in Denmark. Uh, we have some examples also in, in in Spain. We have examples in in, in the Nordic countries where they do really. Where they, where they somehow have integrated uh, the various media in order to be of service in front of their of their customers, and the customer is in that case the reader. Mm -hmm. Very good. Um, I think that's about it. Okay. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Appreciate it.